Well, first of all, my label is called Imas, and Imas is actually known for our quirky sort of t-shirts and accessories. Basically, if you were to see like an African woman on the tee like this, like so, um, being embellished with either the beads and the fabric, it's pretty much an Imas t-shirt. My creative process for my design really just starts with um, what inspires me, and that could really be anything. It could be anything from what I see around me, or it could be an event, it could be an emotion, it could be anything. So um, usually, when once I kind of figure out what my inspiration is, then I now start to build on it, and you know, sort of take it further. Usually, I do sketches. I try to find things that are related to it and you know and then I start thinking through my colour schemes, you know, start putting everything down on paper and then eventually um, I start to actually design the pieces. What I love the most about what I do is the finished product or the finished result in terms of the styling. With the designing, usually it starts with an idea. It really just starts with something that is just a thought in your head. And then when you actually see it finally like a finished product it's just totally amazing and also for the on the styling side of things it's the same thing usually we have an idea we have a concept in our head um, and then we want to sort of de develop it or we want to style it in a particular way and then um, put everything together you got all the pieces you got your clothes your location your photography hair makeup and eventually you see the final product either in the photography the pictures or film or movie and it's Really, that to me, it's just amazing. As a designer, to be honest, the, the first and most important thing is you need to be creative and you need to be able to think outside the box. That's the most important thing. Um, as a stylist, it's interesting because a lot of people actually think styling is easy and a lot of people feel, well, you know what, I can put things together now, I know how to dress, but really, that's not it. I think um, as a stylist, it's funny, but you either have it or you don't. To me, styling and designing really are totally complementary. There's, I can't even say one, I prefer one to the other, or one is more important than the other. For me, they really both work hand in hand. I mean, tons of times I actually use my pieces in my styling gigs, and sometimes, you know, like concepts that I get in styling actually helps my design process. So really, the both, both, both things are completely and totally complementary. Design. I design for men and women that just love life. I design for people who, you know, like to look different. I design for people who appreciate who they are, they're confident in who they are, and, you know, they're happy to sort of express their individuality and their culture. Because obviously a lot of my stuff are inspired by the African continent. So, I mean, there's a lot of Africanness, should I say, in my pieces. Um, so obviously, um, I design for people who are very, very bold and are very, very confident and happy to show who they are, showcase who they are. Um, Styling-wise, I've styled from, I mean, you know, celebrities from actresses to musicians to just TV personalities, um, also from fashion shows. I've done a lot of work for editorials, for magazines, um, obviously one or two personal clients. You know, it's really a wide range of um, of people. Really, I like to distress by just chilling. I mean, to be honest with you, I watch a lot of TV. <laughs> um, I just like to chill at home, literally just lie on the couch, put on the TV and just watch stuff that don't really make any sense, just stuff that I don't even have to think too much about. Um, I also love to hang out with people who really share the same sort of um, views and likes as me you know just hang out and chill and just have a good time so I love dancing I really really do even now I still do <laughs> no <laughs> no you're kidding <laughs> I ain't dancing on TV <laughs> oh dear.